Well, IMPD are still working to actively investigate what happened after they say a young boy was in the middle of the street when a truck came, hit him and left. Now, there's still a very active police presence out here along rural street this afternoon. I want to step out of the way so you can see what's going on behind me here. Police are working to canvas the area. We have seen them actively talking to witnesses about they saw what would happen, looking to see if any cameras might have captured the truck as it ran as it took off away from the scene. Now, witnesses tell me that there was a ball that had gone into the middle of the road. Now, one driver tells me they saw the ball and stopped assuming a child would come and the child did not see the truck that hit them. Witnesses we spoke to say the driver of the truck got out, looked down at the child, got back in their car and drove away. And we're being told that the child was taken to Riley with serious but critical injuries and family is down at the hospital right now. Again, police are still working to actively canvas the area, find out more information about what might have happened, but they're asking that anybody who might have seen what happened to please contact police. Yeah, we hope that boy is okay tonight for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's just awful. Mm. Thank you so much, Rachel. Well, IMPD res now released the names of those police officers involved when a man died in police custody on Monday. Officers are telling us they had to use a taser twice on 39-year-old Herman Whitfield III. His father told police Whitfield was having a psychosis when they were called to this home on Marison Place. The six officers involved tonight are on administrative leave. We've got the officers' names with this story. It's posted for you on WTHR.com. We are now hearing for the very first time